Hello, this is Cleaner 2024. Today I'm going to be showing you how to copy some DVDs that you made. Um, I got a question about if I burn a DVD, how do I copy it once I've burned it? So, I have burned a DVD. Um, let's see, go to Finder. There's my movie right there. I inserted it into the computer, and it's a Nickelback concert that I burned a while ago. So I put it into the computer, and what's going to come up is the Apple DVD player. You can see right there just pops up with your DVD and starts playing. So once that comes up, what you're going to do is just get out of it. Don't even leave it up. Just wait. And then you're going to want to go to Finder. Go into Applications. Let's see if I can zoom in. Applications. Go into Utilities. And you're going to want to... Oh, there it is. Disk Utility. And that's going to come up and you're going to see your hard drive and your DVDs and stuff on the side. So once that comes up, let's get out of this. So once that's up, you can click on your DVD. And you see all of your info right here and stuff. What you're going to do is you're going to click New Image. And then you're going to name it whatever. New Back Live, it's through just copy. That's what I'm going to name mine. I'm just going to put it on my desktop. And you're going to change the image format to DVD CD Master right there. Encryption, I'm just going to leave that. Then you can hit save. And it'll say disk utility progress and it'll start creating the image. And it'll say that it's creating the image and it'll say the name of your movie or whatever dot CDR. And that's what it's supposed to say, so you're going to give that time and let that finish. As you can see, it's done. So now what we have right here is our little image. So if we zoom out, put it the finder. There's no disk in here. We bring up desktop. You see Nickelback Live at Sturgis CDR. So there it is right there. If you go and click on Nickelback, what you're gonna do after you've created the image and you'll see it on the left right here, you're gonna click burn. Well, let me just mention, after you've made the image, if you click new image and stuff like that, you just eject the CD that's in uh, the drive, you eject it, and then you click on your DVD and you click burn right there. And then it'll say that it's waiting. Then you insert a disk and you just hit burn. And that's pretty much it. And then once it's done burned, you can just leave this in and leave the thing on your desktop. And you can just burn it again, burn it again, as much as you need to. And it should just stay here unless you delete it. It should stay in the disk utility thing, as long as it's in wherever you saved it. And this might not be as quick. I'm not sure. This is the only way I've ever done it. haven't tried to copy DVD using Toast Titanium. I've only used this way, so I'm not sure if it's faster or not. I don't have anything to compare to. But uh, this is the way that I've used and I find it easy. It's complicated, but it's easy. It's um, weird. <laughs> So, uh, th yeah, that was how to use Disk Utility to copy your DVDs. And if you have any questions or comments or anything like that, if you need a video made or if, um, if you have any problems, just leave me a comment and uh, I'll try to help you out. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe and all the good stuff. And until next time, I will see you guys later. I'm Galeno2024. Peace out.